And this guy's black, correct? We're going to discuss that in the third slide. <laughs> he says he's black, but as we talked about before, mm. who your mama is? <laughs> who is your mama? And that's what race, right. that's what race or who you uh, affiliate with. Mm. All right, we're going to just go mute this to, you know, we got commercial. We got bills to pay over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's fine. But you know, Dion is propelling the, the culture of football, college football, even more, but they don't like that. But let me see what's, what they're talking about. You know, we had to do a bunch of ESPN videos, and that's great. I loved it. And and uh, but our kids came out of those videos really with a chip on their shoulder. They're tired of all that stuff. They really are tired of it. And I sat down with ESPN today, and I don't care if they hear it in Boulder. I told them I took my hat off and I took my glasses off, and I said, when I talk to grown-ups, I take my hat and my glasses off. That's what my mother talked. <laughs> <laughs> when I talk to grown-ups, I take my head and glasses off. You can hear the bigots in the background. <laughs> now, <So>, Brandon, <laughs> you, do you see three photos in this picture? Yeah. Is his glasses on? <laughs> his glasses are on. And two of them, though, he got a head. head. He got a head on. Yeah. Is he talking yeah, to good kids or he talking to a grown man while <laughs> his glasses on it is that but but why would he make a statement like that who is he talking about you mm. know who he's talking mm. about but but why why you know why don't people like they'll, they'll there's nothing even to criticize dion about but they want to make up stuff to criticize him about is that when i can let you guys here's a tip in life when a racist person don't have nothing to say they go pick on anything <laughs> let's say let's say brandon hot dog company is making millions of dollars Mm -hmm. Racist person come in there. That's why you got that stain on your shirt. <laughs> you, know, right. right. this, right. you know, they're gonna try to find something negative to say, no matter what. Do you want to hear what Dion said about it? Yeah. And this guy's black, correct? We gonna discuss that in the third slide. <laughs> he says he's black, but as we talked about before, mm -hmm. who your mama is? <laughs> who is your mama? And that's what race, that's what race or who you uh, affiliate with. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I'm minding my own business, watching some film, trying to get ready, trying to get out here and be the best coach I could be. And I look up and I read some bull junk that Dan said about us. Talk to us. Once again, uh, talk to us. Why would you want to talk about us when we don't talk about nobody? All we do is go out here, work our butts off, and do our job on Saturday. But when they give us ammunition, they unmatched Brown made it. What? It was just gonna be a good game. They unmatched Brown and made it. Personal. It was gonna be a great test, a battle of Colorado, but they unmatched Brown and made it. Now, I don't like that. I don't like that, Louis. I don't like that. <laughs> no, 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 he, he said what you're supposed to say mm -hmm, when you're mm -hmm, mad. I don't come here uh, with you, nobody. But you know what they want him to do? They want him to shut up, bow down, and kiss the ring. That's what they want him to do. They, they don't like when a new black coach comes in and he's not even saying anything. He's just got his team playing good. They're winning. That's all. He, he, talk, he's not, he talks positive about his team. Right. And he talks positive about God. And he and he and he puts he uh like your power in your tongue. Mm -hmm. He said his team is real good, they're gonna be good, and we coming. Mm -hmm. They want you to be <laughs> humble, they want you to have your head down and be like, oh, I'm just so thankful to be here. I just I'm just trying to play, I'm trying to coach. I just want I don't really care about the outcome. They don't they want you to be humble, they want you to be passive, but he's showing that you can be dominant, you can be smart, and you can be funny too. And and he's 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 clapping back in the best way. It's not getting messy, he's not saying he's gonna spin no blocks. You know, I say he go kill nobody. He ain't like, pointing okay. no fingers. He ain't pointing no fingers. He's not even starting anything. He's like, we're not even starting. We were just gonna play a football game. That's all we was gonna do. But they want to go there, okay? And they said it's gonna be personal. That and they 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 got a chip on their shoulder. They're gonna be ready to play. They's already gonna be ready to play. But now they're gonna be like, okay, yeah, we're gonna make sure we're not messing up at all. See, now people gonna be using that word personal. And they ain't gonna use it like Dion using it in, <laughs> in a respectful right. way. You know what I mean? Right. Some people start some mess, and the person hits you back. 
<laughs> no, you started it. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I was I was listening to something talking about words. I was listening to something they were saying that gaslighting, somebody can't gaslight you if they don't even know you. Gaslighting is when somebody knows you and knows how to manipulate you and gaslight you. Like a stranger on the internet can't really gaslight you. They can, but that's not the true definition of gaslighting. So what's the true definition of gaslighting, Brandy? I just told you, somebody has to actually know you. Like me and you, I know things about you so I can actually gaslight you. But a stranger just saying stuff on the internet, that's not really the con- correct. I what agree. Okay, okay, go ahead. Uh, with the with the comic about woke, mm-hmm. uh, the a lot of people, wonderful people, use the term <laughs> woke to gaslight other wonderful people. Mm-hmm. They saying they're trying to change history. Mm-hmm. They're saying they tried to tell uh, America was started and everybody's bad and you need to mm-hmm. bow down to beautiful people. Mm-hmm. That's gaslighting, Brandon. Well, as a whole, yes, what wonderful people do know beautiful people. But I'm just saying, if somebody if I was, if somebody talked junk to you on the internet, that's just they just talking junk to you on the internet. You can say it's gaslighting, but they were saying the the psychological term for it. Is usually reserved for somebody that's in, either in a relationship with you or somebody that knows you for a long time and they're trying to manipulate you in that way. That's all. Randy got that now. I gotta. <laughs> we can go and look it up. Like I said, I just, it's just something I heard and then it just made me think about it. This is what people uh, do not like about me because you think you know it all. No, if I don't know something, I, I try to look it up. That's right. And there's nothing I, wrong with that. I was in a. Uh, I was in the doctor's office and mm. uh, the pos- uh, position assistant, mm. the PA, yeah. that's a nice job. You don't, you could get a regular college degree, go to school two years, then you'd be making big money. That's a right. tip for people. Uh, six figures. Almost. Yes. Yeah. And go to a, a technical school. And get <laughs> right. <laughs> but I was talking to her, making small talk, and she went to a black school in Louisiana. Mm. Mm-hmm. I never heard of that black school. So I started right. to look it up. She was like, what you doing? I said, oh, I'm looking up this school. Would you try to stop me? <laughs> Bitch, yeah. I'm just looking up the damn school. <laughs> I can know about it. Right. But people really, I guess people really don't do that. And they're more nosy for personal information, not nosy for information. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people get that, get that wrong about me. Well, I got some big words in here. I ain't going to read them, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a historic reference to extreme psychological manipulation to commit an individual to a psychotic institution or cause mental illness with the intent to brainwash. Like I just said, Brandon, a lot of people misspeak about woke. woke and mm, you, you're right. Fake. Uh, describe it, the purpose of it as fake. So that's why I said that's gaslighting. I got you. In, co- in contemporary language, gaslighting is a corkalism describing a such experience of having one's reality repeatedly questioned by another. Okay, I'll agree with that. Yeah, I like those two definitions, Brandon. I don't like mm-hmm. your definition. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not saying it's my definition, but I was just saying they were they were just discussing how gaslighting is more of a personal thing. What is now, what, who is this? <laughs> now Brandon, the coach, that coach who said I take my glasses and head oh, off wow. if I talk to adults. Now wow. per him, he's a black man. Okay. This is him, the coach, that's his wife. This is the coach, that's his mom, and that's his dad. Wow. Now his dad had a high a high job in Michigan, like in uh University of Michigan in mm. the 1960s. Now, based on my theory about history. Mm-hmm. Black people probably couldn't get into Michigan <laughs> right. in the 1960s. So how did a black man get a director, <laughs> right. an athletic director job in the 1960s? How do you right. think, Brandon? Because mm. they said he, he he probably identified as something else. I would say the same thing. <laughs> and that's him. He can go, he can go, he can go, he both, can go ways. both ways. Right. Because I, I thought to myself, at night, she couldn't go to the school. Right. But you know what I heard today? Stephen A. Smith was doing an interview. He was saying he you a black person couldn't even be a journalist when he was trying to be be an up-and-coming journalist because of the racial problems that was going on. He said he was the 20, 21st black uh journalist to be you know, accepted into that into that field. So just think about that. Like we were kept out of industries 
and Stephen A was kept out of that industry, but it had to be gradually worked into it because yeah, of his probably, skin color. Probably started at the bottom, you know. Say I want to be a journalist, but I had him dumping the trash out. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but he could, he could write, could write, and knew how to do stuff. But it was like, no, you don't even get the license yet. You know, don't good even day, worry, everybody. About it. I got some good news for you. If you suffer from bad credit, bad debt, time management, income, or just not reaching your goals, I have the perfect solution for you. In my book, From Zero to 200K, it will teach you how to solve all of those issues. Now, you may be wondering, how can I tell you this? Well, I was a manager at a S&P 500 company. I supervise over 300 employees. I am debt free. My credit score is over the 800 and I reach every goal I put my mind to it. Some of the benefits of reading my book right here, you will learn how to build better relationship skills. You'll learn how to increase your wealth. You'll learn about ownership as in businesses or homes. You'll learn about how to increase your earned income that you make it from your job right now. So I encourage you guys today to hit the link below, get your copy. This is a black owned business. Uh, a lot of black people was involved in making this. So I know y'all guys gonna like it. Thank you, you have a good day.